Hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just 5 minutes. Back again with another crypto update. Uniswap says it's talking with PayPal, Robinhood and more in a deleted video. And this guys is one of the most interesting rumors we have gotten in a very long while. And to be honest with you, it's one of the also, I guess, easiest ones to figure out as Uniswap themselves let go of a couple of statements, clarifying everything the same day and also clarified why the video was taken down and all of that. So let us cover because what is going on? Well, Uniswap, Ethereum's largest DeFi, I guess, decentralized exchange or DEX or I guess DeFi starter, I don't know exactly how you want to call it, is looking to expand into consumer finance, at least according to a deleted video on YouTube from the ETHCC conference that was held in Paris last week. In a talk at the event, Ashley Shop, Uniswap's growth lead, said the team behind the trading protocol is in talks with well-known fintech companies to provide DeFi to the mainstream, in a nod to the virtues of the decentralized web. Now, Quote, we are trying to put Uniswap and the rest of DeFi right there in those applications so that we can bring the dream of open 100% uptime liquidity to the whole world, Shop said. PayPal wants to talk to us. E-Trade wants to talk to us. Stripe wants to talk to us. Uniswap Labs, ETC, PayPal, E-Trade, and Stripe did not reply to Coindesk's request for comment, but after the publication of this article, founder Hayden Adams tweeted that Uniswap Labs has not partnered with the companies mentioned in the ETC talk. He said the video was deleted at Uniswap's request because we thought it could be interpreted to suggest that we have a relationship that we don't. And guys, that was everywhere throughout the internet. People shouting and screaming literally everywhere that Uniswap was now partnered up. I saw it in a lot of different places and people talking about it right now because it was pretty funny. Now, in the end of things, once more, it was basically just clarified that they're talking with every single person. They're all talking with every single company. And according to Schwab's presentation, Uniswap is looking to build partnerships between consumer finance and DeFi using intermediary firms like Fireblocks, Paxos, and Talos, notably, Paxos built the platform that powers PayPal's crypto service, and the partnership could allow for DeFi protocols to mesh into existing fintech offerings in a bid to provide a larger variety of assets, instant settlement, and 24-7 accessibility. And here's the important quote. Quote, we're talking to everyone about potential stuff, but nothing concrete or specific yet, said the familiar matter with, uh, or a familiar source with the talks speaking on the condition of anonymity. Paxos and Fireblocks declined to comment as well. And so pretty funny to me how none of these sources wanted to comment on Coindesk because it's a pretty big website, right? Talking about news and none of them wanted to quickly let go of a response. Then again, there was so much controversy, so much question, yet in the end, it wasn't really that big a deal. They basically are saying, hey, we're talking with everybody. She added, and this is here about the um, situation as well. She added that pitching Uniswap is not as tough of a sell as it was years ago, and that firms like PayPal and Stripe are becoming less resistant to what DeFi may offer. Quote, to stay relevant with their user base is a huge, huge reason that all of these giants are starting to really look closely at what working with someone like Uniswap, Shop said, before mentioning speaking with Robinhood. Traditional finance, however, still has its concerns with blockchain tech and the finality of on-chain transactions, Shop said in Paris. And think about that one logically. Of course, it's pretty difficult to get used to a finality system when that means if you send a transaction it's sent bada boom bada bing over done you can never revert something and i would say that it also becomes quite difficult when trying to work out how transactions should work because let's say for example you buy something with bitcoin right you want to get it back or you want to get a refund well how right so the only way to do that is through a middleman which holds your bitcoin and then sends it once it's actually completely finalized and confirmed or you need some sort of other way to confirm that the goods are fine before you send the money over then again there's a lot of just small issues with these payments where a refund is never possible unless the refunding party actually is like yeah i want to do that or it is officially regulated in that the person you're buying from is officially completely registered in a complete fashion because with PayPal system right now, they can always just issue a refund for you, right? But with the whole Bitcoin system, it's, 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 just, it's just a lot more difficult. She said Uniswap's current strategy is surveying the needs of large financial institutions when it comes to know your customer laws and any fears associated with transactions directly on the blockchain. 
But yeah, guys, that was it for today's video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video. It's an interesting rumor. It's been calmed down or cooled down pretty quickly, but still, it was rather interesting to hear.